Hi folks, welcome to Cooking with Kurt. Today we're working with uh, venison, and we're going to do this on a, uh, a wild rice uh, cake, and uh, or a wild rice pancake. In this case, it's uh, we call it a latke, and it's uh, uh, a real fun one to do. The uh, venison I took and I just pounded it out, put it between plastic wrap. And I'm going to turn this down. I started the mushrooms just a little bit ahead of time for you here. I wanted to bring those down and caramelize them, get some of that nice brown uh, color to it and bring that, uh, concentrate the flavor. And uh, I just pounded these out, a little bit of salt and pepper. This is a quick one. I'm going to add my uh, garlic to this because the, the mushrooms are there. I don't want to burn it. And I'm going to add my uh, shallot, chopped shallot, and just a little bit of brandy. And uh, I'm not gonna, I, I use a cap, I actually use it for measurement, I do it on purpose, because if I add too much, uh, you'll have an alcohol burn, which means it'll make it bitter. And right away I'm gonna add my cream, and see I'd be glazed with that, and I'm gonna add my cream to this. This is such a fun one to do. Uh, I've done this on the road a lot. Um, you can do this up in the mounds on your fishing boat. And now that I added the cream, it's going to pull that flavor of those mushrooms into that cream sauce. And all I have to do is, I'm going to let that cook for a second. <coughs> and bring that flavor back out. And I'm going to get these, uh, I'll get this started to warm up. I'm just going to add my... Uh, white cheddar cheese, I've grated this. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of kosher salt and fresh ground pepper. Now you can interchange any kind of cheese basically, it's whatever your taste is. In this case, I, li I like that, th th this white cheddar, um, but whatever your favorite cheese would work just fine in this. And you can see that cheese is thickening that up, that cream's reduced a little bit. I'm gonna set this off to the side and get on with the rest of the dish. But that sauce is done right now. I can reduce that down a bit more if I'd like to make it a little bit thicker. Chef, on the white cheddar cheese, is that a sharper cheese than regular cheddar? Um, yes, yes it is, but it's not, uh, you know, it depends on how long it's been, excuse me, how long it's been aged. But it's uh, got a wonderful smooth flavor to it that's very unique. But it's definitely sharper than the, your regular white cheddar cheese you would buy in the store. And that's, that's it. We've got it. I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm going to get another pan here. And I'm going to turn that down. I'll get this one going. All right. And you don't want too high of a heat on this. This is going to be the wild rice uh, cake or the wild rice latke. And... Um, this is really simply done. Um, you just take your wild rice and you've pre-cooked it and I'm going to start with that. And you're just going to fold this together. I want my uh, parsley and corn. You can use any kind of vegetables you want um, and a little bit of red onion. Just, you can kind of clean off the freezer or whatever you want to put in there. Wild rice is the main ingredient. And this is a little bit of pancake flour and egg. And I just um, slightly uh, beat the eggs. Here we go. And milk. And now you're going to add, uh, you'll see in the recipes, all these recipes will be posted. You'll be able to find them. And I'm going to add milk just as I need. And yes, we have a specific amount in the recipe, but be flexible. Um, and if I need a little bit more pancake flour, I will, which I can tell you right now that I do. Can you use all purpose instead of pancake flour? Um, it won't have that, uh, uh, the binding effect. I want that, I want it to raise. We're making like a pancake or a latke, and I want that to raise up. And you could if you added the rest of the ingredients to make that happen. But uh, I find that uh, everybody has pancake flour on hand, and it works well. I want just a bit more batter. You don't want to make it too thick, but 
there you go. I mean, and you just fold it together. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in the, uh, I'm gonna get both pans going here. Because this is actually, uh, goes pretty fast. I'm gonna turn my heat down just a bit. Um, these will burn, and it ha because of the density, the wild rice that's in there, and the vegetables, I wanna spread that out, and then, and give it a chance to cook, okay? And these, now here, let me get the pancake going, the latke. I'm just gonna dab that on there, and then I'm gonna kinda spread that out. I wanna get that, oh, that's gonna be perfect. Okay. If it's too thick, it'll be raw in the center, and you, you just don't want that. That'll be enough there. And uh, all we had down here was this, uh, the kosher salt and pepper. And this will just be a quick little saute. And the biggest thing with the wild game and all wild game, don't overcook it. I mean, cook it till, uh, till it's just done or whatever your desired uh, uh, temperature that you would like. But um, it was because as we pounded this down and it's less than a quarter inch, it just takes seconds. So don't overcook it, folks. And this is coming along. Actually, I needed a spatula for this, or a flat spat, but this will work fine. I'll make it work. So you can know, always give it uh, just a couple of minutes on each side. and. Uh, this is going to be it. This is really a fast one. This dish goes, uh, it works well. You can interchange this. You can use any kind of wild game, upland game bird. Uh, you can see this is very versatile. Uh, the wild rice cake, you can do with anything. We're using a white cheddar, uh, mushroom and white cheddar uh, cream sauce in this case, but whatever, you, whatever you'd like to put on it will work. There you go. Ha! And if it breaks like that, so what? It's not the end of the world. Just push it back together. And you've got it. That's almost there, folks. And these are about uh, medium well. I'm shutting off the heat in this case. That'll cruise the rest of the way in this dish is there. Okay, and if you question uh, whether or not that's done inside, just take a, take a little peek in the corner and look around because of the, it's not like a normal pancake you'd be making at home. You have a lot of products in there, the wild rice and the vegetables, and you want to be able to cook all the way around them. The vegetables I put in there were raw, but you don't have to cook the dickens out of them. All you have to do is just warm them up, basically. But uh, they're, they're done, so we can just go from here to the plate. And I'll set those on there. And put your uh, venison on there. And top that with the uh, mushroom and white cheddar cream. I love this sauce, folks. You've got to do this one. It's uh, one of my favorite sauces. And I'm just going to uh, finish that off. A little bit of uh, fresh chopped chives. And maybe a little red pepper spike make a finish off. But there you go, folks. You can do this. Please do this at home. And don't be afraid to change up and use other kinds of meats along with this. Thanks for being with us today. I thank you folks for taking the time to join us today on Cooking on the Wild Side, and we'll see you next time. We'll cook up some more dishes.